Coming up on today's Wicked Bites, we swing into the season at one of the premier golfing locations in all of New England. Delicious food, drinks, views, what could be finer? And we got legendary comedian, the one and only Steve Sweeney. Plus, our Steve is on the road. He's got the most sinful, mouthwatering burgers that we've found anywhere. Lee, well, she tours Dino's Pasta Factory, and Scott, he hits Hampton's hottest spot for fresh brewed coffee and treats. Welcome back to Wicked Bites, and it's been a long year, Lee, for our brand new season of Wicked Bites. I'm so glad to be here. Finally nice to have outdoors with a drink. Cheers. That's right. Cheers. On a little bit of a windy day here at the Granite Lakes Country Club mm -hmm. in Quincy, but this is a fantastic course. Have you had an opportunity to play yet? Are you kidding me? I have three kids. I don't even leave my house. What are you talking about? <laughs> but we're here enjoying drinks right now. How's your golf game, by the way? You hit them straight or are they going in the woods? Well, today with the wind, it's it's the wind's fault. It's not going to be my oh, fault. Oh, yeah, yeah. You hear that? The wind's <laughs> fault. I yeah. find this guy in the woods a lot looking for his ball. All the time. All <laughs> the time. The wind is picking up right now. So what do you say we send it over to Steve? He's at a place in Malden called Crazy Good Kitchen. From time to time, we reach out to you on social media through Facebook and Instagram, and you told us that we should check out the Crazy Good Kitchen in Malden. Well, guess what? That's where I'm headed. We're here at the Crazy Good Kitchen in Malden, and I'll tell you right now, the name ain't lying. This place is ridiculous. I heard that you were a butcher in Brazil. Uh, I came to U.S. 22 years ago. Since I have experience on meats, shakes and everything, that's why we created our family, Crazy Good Kitchen. They only do three things, but when you do them this good, you don't have to do anything else. A spicy chicken sandwich with attitude, a shake that brought the Wicked Bites team to the yard, and a burger that'll rock your world. Are you kidding me? It's like an eclipse, it's so big. Look at this thing. The star of the show, the hot mess, a double-decker menace of a burger. It may start off like a meatball, but this beautiful 60-40 flavor grenade is about to get crazy. Crazy good. Shaved steak, doused in liquid gold, wearing a sesame brioche bun. Oh my. We have what looks to me to be one of the greatest things that I'm about to put in my mouth. This here is Bat Make Me Spicy. We made everything in house to marinate them. It's a real brioche bun. A champion of a chicken sandwich. It doesn't end there. Item number three on their menu, crazy good shakes. I got the I'm crazy for cookies. You'll gain two pounds just looking at it, but it's worth every bit of every second. A cup of fun, loaded with cookie dough and packed with Oreos, topped with whipped cream. When you're in Malden, you never know who you're gonna run into. Look what the cat dragged in. How are you? How are Dave you? Dave Russo, Boston funny guy. What ended up happening was, I'm on the Wicked Bites page and I found out they were gonna be in the 02148, so I figured, what better guy to sample a burger? Looking for free food. The more I eat, I don't gain any height. Well, How's listen, that sound? I'm right. glad you're here because you can help me right. try this stuff. The Smash Burger is all the rage right now. It's smashing them down. I'm gonna smash like a big dog at a picnic. All right, I got the, uh, the burger with cheese and the special sauce. Wow. That is ridiculous. We didn't bring any napkins. No. Are you kidding me? There's no napkins. Wait up! I got some napkins here. We're wow. gonna smash you in the face, burger. <laughs> wow! I know why they call it crazy good. This is crazy good. A true mark of greatness is when it's all over your face like a badge of honor. If you're within striking range of Malden, check out Crazy Good Kitchen. It could change your life. Look at the view 
here. Look where we are. I am having the time of my life, sipping on my wine here with Bryant. Thanks for having me. Thank you for being here. Everyone comes here for golf, obviously, in the driving range and that fun bar up there. Brenna Lynx is a lot more than just a golf course. You know, we do have 27 holes of excellent golf, but we do have beautiful function space that seats 300 people. Beautiful views of the, the city. We have the ballroom inside that can do almost 500. We have our Crossing Nines restaurant. Great place to go after a round of golf. I can tell these aren't your ordinary steak tips. What makes these special? Those have been on our menu from day one. That's what people rave about, come here, they love them. They look like they've been marinated forever. Oh yeah, marinated, <laughs> little secret recipe we can't give out. They're to die for. People love them and they'll, they, we just have regulars that come here all the time just for those steak tips. I am a truffle lover. Is this have some truffle on it? Mushroom and brie pizza, again, a staple item here. We can't take it off the menu. It just If we do, there'll be a revolt. We don't want that. We don't want that. We want them coming back. Flatbread, thin. Something different, too. You got a vegetable on your pizza, right? Yeah, so it's no healthy. marinara sauce. <laughs> it's heart attack waiting to happen. And once you eat one, you'll eat them all. They're, it's worth the risk. <laughs> absolutely. You know, I haven't been out much with COVID, and I came here and I was like, oh my god, I feel alive again. There's views, there's drinks, good food. The vibe is back. <laughs> Hey, still to come on Wicked Bites, Boston's funny man, Steve Sweeney. Plus, Lee, well, she visits the famous Dino's Pasta Factory in Somerville. And Scott, well, he's roasting coffee on the seacoast. That's all still to come right here on Wicked Bites. Welcome back to Wicked Bites. Today we are at the beautiful Granite Links Country Club in Quincy on a sunny yet very windy day. And Karen, I love, first of all, playing golf here, but the food, lobster roll. Can it be anything finer than playing a round of golf and enjoying a great lobster roll? No, absolutely not. Uh, once you're done playing a round of golf, you can come here to the Crossing Nines and enjoy a fresh cold beverage and our signature lobster roll, which is fresh uh, knuckle and claw meat. And there's a lot in, yes. in this lobster roll, and it's served on a brioche roll. Yes, a griddled brioche roll. Oh, that's deep. that gets <laughs> that sweetness from the knuckles and claw of that lobster meat coming right out in it. And you also have fantastic drinks. What do I have right here? Uh, you're drinking the vacation. It's one of our specialty cocktails, along with our full service bar that we have here. And you can enjoy the outdoor porch and then go back and maybe do the, the another nine. <laughs> right, and you can't beat the views here. You have the beautiful golf course and then so this side, we have the Boston skyline. That is probably sets you apart from everybody else, the view of Boston oh, from absolutely. the golf course. Yes. And, and it is a great golf course. I've played this uh, course before, and you know, it, it beat me up a little bit, but I had a great time. A little bit of everything here, whether you're finishing a round of golf and want to come here and kick back, have a few drinks, or you do a date night, um, family night. There's just a little something for everyone. Thank you for having us here today. I'm going to get on the golf course in just a few minutes and also experience some more of the restaurant. Thank you. Once Thank again, you. cheers. Cheers. All right, now Lee, she is in Somerville at a fantastic place. If you love pasta, it's Dino's Pasta Factory in Somerville. Dino's Pasta in Somerville with the owner, Hala. Thanks so much for having us. Thank you for coming. I'm really excited to be here because I have three little kids and not enough time to cook. So what are you going to teach me how to make today? I think we're making tortellini, ravioli, fresh fusilli. I'm excited. Am I going to see your husband, Dean, too, or of no? Of course. He's, All right. he's always here. I can't wait. Let's do it. <laughs> what kind of pasta is this? So this is our six cheese tortellini. Ooh. We make these for restaurants and for specialty stores. We also have them at our pasta shop here. We use 100% semolina in all of our dough. What is semolina? Semolina flour. It's uh, specially milled to our exact specifications and really creates a nice al dente pasta. This is impressive. It's just like yeah, it out. just keeps on going. And they're like so soft and doughy, but yeah. like the perfect. Right. I want to eat one right now. Perfect for soup, or you can uh, yes. make an entree with some pesto or marinara sauce with it. My favorite, favorite pasta is fusilli. We're making that next. Let's go. So 
Johanna, this is the fusilli pasta, or my son yep. calls it the squiggly pasta. <laughs> yeah. The machine's moving very slowly. Yes. We slow everything down to really focus on that quality and small batches. It's one of our most popular fresh pastas. We sell a lot of this to restaurants all over the North End, Massachusetts yeah. and New Hampshire. The prices are so affordable here. I'm yeah. like, we really try to um, you know, be very fair with the prices. We want everyone to be able to afford to come in, yeah. grab a few items and you know, keep it on hand for future meal. On to raviolis, let's go. So this is obviously ravioli. What is yep. in this? It's like a pillowy dough. It's so yeah. nice. So you can see like how much filling we put in the ravioli. Yeah. This is our number one seller. It's our classic three cheese ravioli. Ooh. We actually make this in like five or six different shapes and sizes. It's filled with ricotta, pecorino romano, and parmesan cheese. Who doesn't love a cheese ravioli? I mean, come on. <laughs> right. I'm trying to make it look like, yeah. Thank you, Lee. Yeah. Nice. You have the I got a job. <laughs> Another job. So this is the dry pasta. It's a new yeah. thing. Yeah, absolutely. This is our um, slow dry pasta. We actually slow dry this on wooden racks for over two days. And um, it's a shelf stable product, so it's very popular at the farm stores and the specialty stores that we sell to. It's, you know, they can just put it right on their shelf. They're all vegan and cholesterol free, and we have 10 different flavors and varieties of our slow dry pastas. All right, put me to work. Are we moving this? Yeah, we're just gonna spread it out. Okay, all right, perfect. Thanks guys so much for having us. And we have the dynamic duo themselves, <laughs> Dean the owner, husband and wife couple. Let's play a game. <laughs> Tonight, I'm gonna make spinach ravioli. What do I put it with? I would say either the Onesto cream sauce or the marinara sauce. They're both very popular with the spinach ravioli. Even the pink vodka sauce could go with that. Okay, what about straight up cheese ravioli that we're making? Dean, what are you pairing it with? Oh, the way to go is definitely the marinara. Nice and simple, but it's so good. Yeah, you're an old school guy. Oh yeah, definitely, all the way. One of my favorite things is to eat, but my second favorite is to shop. So time to go into the store. <laughs> Let's go, guys. <laughs> Let's go. That was Dino's Pasta. Their pasta is to die for. And don't worry, they're open seven days a week so you can go in and buy your favorite pasta. I gotta say, I'm having a pretty awesome afternoon sipping on my Goombe Smash here at Granite Links in Quincy. Now let's head to Scott and Steve. And Steve is a Boston legendary comedian. What could be finer than coming inside of the Granite Links Country Club, playing a little bit of golf and sitting down with the legendary comedian Steve Sweeney. How are you, Steve? I couldn't agree with you more. What could be better than that? Oh, sitting down with you is always a fun time. Last night, I was in New Brunswick, New Brunswick in Canada, mm -hmm. and I drove home. It took me like 15 hours because I knew, I said, this is your big break. Yes, the Wicked Bites show. My agent was all over me. Get back. You got to do Wicked Bites. And I've been preparing for this my whole life. <laughs> Next week, Shell Station on Route 1 in Peabody. What has the comedy scene been like there over hasn't the past been year? One. There hasn't been one. We've seen people who built their brands for 30 years, you know, or more, and it's been hard, but at the same time, it, for me personally, and I'm not being serious, I realized how important work is to me. I'm just one of those guys that I can't retire. I mean, I can't go to Florida and have dinner at 3.30 in the afternoon. And, but now it's coming back as the restaurants open. You know, this is a great way actually to get people back in the door. You have a night of comedy because people need to get out and they need to get a laugh. And also, they need toilet paper because some people didn't collect enough in the beginning of this pandemic. Do you remember how crazy we all were? I remember seeing shopping carts of like the extra, extra like 30, 40 rolls at a time, like 
these masks. I don't know whether to put it on, take it off. This woman, she said to me, put on your mask. And I said, oh yeah, the COVID? She said, no, you're just the ugliest bastard I've ever seen in my life. I didn't have a bag. Feel free to laugh here. I'm, I'm not in a vacuum. Get off your phones, you kids. I got the COVID test and the woman calls me up and she says, you're negative. I said, I've been hearing that my whole life. I'm realistic. Since this is Wicked Bites. This is Wicked Bites. At the end of the show, Steve. Yes. We do this thing called Wicked Quickies. Wicked Quickies. And I'm hoping you could do a Wicked Quickie for us. So this okay. is a, your first Wicked Quickie for Wicked Bites. All right, you got it. Coming up next, right here on Wicked Bites, we visit Blue Harbor Coffee Company. They're in Hampton, New Hampshire, the home of one of the top spots for fresh brewed coffee. And our Wicked Quickies from the Granite Links in Quincy. That's all still to come right here on Wicked Bites. Welcome back to Wicked Bites. We're here at Granite Links. Before the pandemic, Scott had the opportunity to roast coffee at the Blue Harbor Coffee Company. Check it out. Do you ever think about how your coffee will get into that coffee cup? You need a great coffee roaster, and we have found just one of those roasters here in downtown Hampton, New Hampshire. This is a place that's only been in business for about four months, but they've already received some high honors. So come with me inside as we discover their great coffee for ourselves at Blue Harbor Coffee Company. Come on. Maddie, I've come to Hampton because I found out that you were voted the second best coffee in the entire state, but what makes that so remarkable? You've only been open for four months. I know, it's crazy. So you roast your own coffee right here? Yes. And you have cappuccinos, you do cold brew, you really have it all. Yes, we have every drink imaginable. I want to meet Josh, because I know he's in the back yes. roasting coffee, but tell me a little bit about the cafe part out here. So we bake some of the pastries here. He makes the biscotti, he makes scones, he makes the bread, and sometimes we have cinnamon buns, which are a huge hit. They Ooh. sell out almost immediately. I could imagine. Yeah, they're really good. Is anything better go with coffee than a cinnamon bun? No. I want to roast some coffee, then I'm going to come back. Maybe I'll have a cappuccino. That would be amazing. Josh, I hope you don't mind. I asked Maddie if I could come back here because I want to see how coffee is roasted. I've never really seen that before. So where do we start from? Put our beans on the hopper. So from here, I mean, the beans, I've never noticed this before. They have more of an earthy not what I would consider a coffee smell. Straight from the farms. They've been just processed and washed and bring up to, to the roasting phase. And now we're just gonna wait and, and watch. see them spinning a little bit. Correct. Drum rotates mm -hmm. periodically and there is a speed for it and almost 35 miles per hour. From here, yep. it's basically gonna go into this big container. Yes, this is the cooling tray and pull the air on. The cool air will be cooling the beans. Do you ever check the coffee while it's roasting? Are you able Not to yet. do that? This is called fryer. That's how you see the development going. You can have a smell a little bit. Starting to get that coffee smell now. It smells so good. You've been in business for about four months. Four months. Already, you're voted the second best coffee in the whole Granite State. That's we an did. amazing accomplishment. It is. We were all word of mouth from the beginning. We were passionate about the coffee. We love what we're doing. So I'm going to let you get the work back sure. here. I'm going to go back if it's okay and see Maddie because I hear that you have your own pastries from locally pastry shops. We do. All right, keep roasting. Thank you very much. Thanks for coming by. Here, Josh ordered this Harbor Mocha especially for you. Perfect, I can't wait to try this to find out why your coffee has won that award already. Yes, yes I'm so it. excited for you to try it. And I want you to recommend one of the local pastries for me. Yeah, so our lemon bar is actually very popular. I've personally tried it and I love it, so. Mm. I already like the chocolate, got a little taste of the coffee already. Yes. Maddie, thank you very You're much. You're welcome. Continue success. Yes, I will continue to carry on the legacy. <laughs> Next time on Wicked Bites, the crew finds a brand new concept unlike anything that we have ever seen. And we've been doing this for a long time. 
plants growing right in the restaurant, on the walls. Plus, we visit the inventor of shrimp scampi pizza, and we discover a steak tip marinade that's so secret, only one person has the recipe. That's Wicked Bites next Saturday morning, 9.30 a.m. on Nessun. Wicked Bites is always about finding great food. Today, we are at the Granite Links Country Club in Quincy on a windy day. Maybe that's why my golf score just kept going up and up and up. More food to come. It's now time for Wicked Quickies. For my Wicked Quickie, I have the strawberry avocado salad. Look how delicious this is. And I'm eating it in the members only lounge, which is absolutely stunning. I think I'm gonna pair this with a nice glass of Pinot Grigio. Hey, this is Jack Nicholson, and for my Wicked Quickie, I'm gonna have some damn shrimp. Mmm, that's good. And for my Wicked Quickie here at the Granite Links Country Club in Quincy, I got the mac and cheese, but it is topped with something that's a little bit spicy. It's buffalo chicken, but it is a must here at Granite Links. Well, that's going to put a wrap. Show number one, season number eight of Wicked Bites, and it's been a long off season for us filming, Lee. It is so nice to be back. Cheers being back oh, with you. Oh, cheers. Woo, I'm spilling all. See that? I'm out of practice. Drinking? How you been drinking? A little bit. <laughs> but I've been enjoying some great golf today yeah. at the Granite Lakes Country Club here in Quincy. It's just a spectacular course. Oh my gosh, it's so gorgeous. And the driving range is a great place to start. If you don't know how to golf like me, I'm not too good. <laughs> <laughs> but it's all right. You can have fun anyways. Yes, absolutely. And the food. I have serious food. I mean, I know I can't have any of yours. You're going to eat all yourself. But it looks amazing. Yes. And that's what Wicked Bites is all about, finding the these great places around New England and bringing them to you every Saturday morning at 9.30. So make sure you join us. Saturday mornings, 9.30, right here on Wicked Bites. Stay safe, everybody. We'll see you next week. Bye-bye.